Yeah, so in this last part of our session, we basically in uh, where we're still moving around assets. So in this instance, we've got a situation that arises as an asset having to be moved or having to be sold. And that topic can either go in the direction of an asset having to be wholly being made to be a non-taxable supply where it had previously been a portion. So it's most likely that an asset takes uh, was apportioned, part of it was basically a taxable supply and another part of it was also an exempt supply or a non-taxable supply if you can say that. Then subsequently what happens is the company for one reason or the other they decide to move it to a fully exempt supply section or they decide to actually it's almost like a sale so they decide to actually just yeah put it into it so so our main focus will be when asset was partly a taxable supply to being wholly made a non-taxable supply so when SARS sees this transaction they're like uh uh we basically going to levy out output VAT at 100% and we're going to levy that output VAT at 100% based on the open market value. And it looks to be a bit unfair because there's no input VAT now that we can claim back at that point over and above that VAT that we would have initially claimed whatever relevant input VAT was basically uh, a portion for the former use in terms of the taxable uh, supply use of the former asset before we actually just changed that to being a wholly non-taxable supply. So it's a bit unfair because SARS is charging us 100% on the open market value of that asset based on open market value, 100% of it, they don't care about. So we, when they look at it, they're like, okay, we understand it's a bit unfair, you're not getting any VAT back in this instance, whereas it's just really us that are getting an output VAT. So what can we do to make things to be in balance? So then they allow us to claim an input VAT based on the non-taxable value supply before the change in use of that asset uh, that can be used that actual percentage of the non-taxable uh, use of that asset and that we apply the lower of open market value or adjusted cost and times the actual ta tax fraction as well and we can get a relief in terms of the input VAT that we can basically claim and will almost be in like you know an equal footing where there would have been an out output VAT recognized by SARS whereas we've got a bit of a relief in the sense that we've claimed VAT at the lower of adjusted cost and open market value basing it on the percentage of the non-taxable use of the actual asset so I hope that makes sense because uh, you need to look at it from SARS perspective they now took this asset to be a, a, a taxable supply when they charge us like now like a full a full taxable supply uh, rate based on the actual output that they would have levied on us even moved that asset into a wholly taxable supply uh, wholly non-taxable supply uh, you know like section of the business I hope that makes sense. We'll try to elaborate that with an example. So there are two legs to consider. There's one leg for SARS where SARS is living output VAT based on the open market value. And there's a relief leg for us where we're actually claiming back input VAT based on the actual non-taxable use before the change in use of the actual asset uh, in terms of the percentage based on the lower of cost open market value and you apply the tax fraction and we get our relief in terms in terms of the input VAT uh, that we'd likely be able to claim back in that scenario. So that's called uh, wholly 
होली होली नॉन टैक्सेबल सप्लाई होली नॉन टैक्सेबल सप्लाई इफ इट्स बेसिकली गोइंग इन दैट डायरेक्शन एंड ऑब्वियसली द फ्लिप साइड ऑफ दैट वुड बी होली टैक्सेबल सप्लाई वेयर इट्स कमिंग फ्रॉम द डायरेक्शन ऑफ वेयर इट यूज्ड टू बी पार्टली लाइक एन अपोर्शंट एन अपोर्शंट ऑफ and non taxable supply so there would have obviously been the other portion which which would have been a taxable supply but now that non taxable supply falls away it falls away completely the asset now becomes subsequently a uh, thing a uh, or wholly taxable supply asset in that instance uh sars can recognize any output vat because uh it's an input vat which has just been increased so that means they actually always vat in that regard so we have to recognize output vat based on uh the law of open market value and and uh thing like adjusted cost and obviously applying the tax fraction as well and we get a relief in terms of of the of the actual input vat that we we can actually recognize Because like now we've just now put our asset to be used in a wholly taxable supply unit so far as the business may likely be, you know, structured, and that's basically what we have to look out for. It's not like the example that we had of having taken something home. It's not. It's not quite the same because in that instance we kind of like applied the apportionment, but whereas in this instance, SARS. is basically wanting the whole thing you know in terms of coming from uh from uh from like uh, partially having been like a taxable supply to wholly been non taxable supply that would be the right way to put it in terms of sar serving to claim the output back and us serving to 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 claim like some sort of relief in terms of the input vat and we spoke about uh, the conditions that we can basically claim in uh, so far as using like you know the open market value for the output vat for sars uh, whereas for us we basically have to use like the lower of cost uh, just the cost the open market value and so forth so let's just delve into an example just to drive this one home and everything should be in balance